Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm a former college football player from Utah Tech University. Go Trailblazers. Yeah. During my time at Utah Tech, I found out there's a big problem facing us as college athletes. And no, it's not those little T-birds from down the road or those little cats from up north. It's something way more important. Now imagine being 18 years old, fresh out of high school, with your, with your dad not there to kick you out to bed in the morning, and your mom not there making you meals, it's tough for a lot of college kids. Now let's add one more thing to it, being a student athlete. You have work, school, studying, practice, meetings, and in my case, coming up with the next crazy idea to put Utah Tech on top. And then next, let's add one more thing to that list of responsibilities. Managing your finances. For a lot of college athletes, this is as simple as just paying for your rent and food. What I found out is that a lot of college athletes don't even, know the, don't even know how to manage their money. And I also found out that there's no financial education being taught to college athletes. So I had a friend, he played football at a major power five university. He was on full scholarship, everything paid for. And on top of that, he got a $5,500 a month stipend check. A lot of money. What do you think he did with it? He didn't pay for rent, he didn't pay for food. He bought a high-end muscle car, and in two weeks, he crashed it. And as we all know, cars depreciate and crash cars depreciate even more. So my solution to this was creating an organization of college athletes to teach budgeting, saving, and investing. It's called Team Money Good. <laughs> yeah. So I recruited around 24 athletes from my, from my college and taught them how to budget, save, and invest. It was, it was amazing. We had athletes from football, basketball, soccer, and cross country. Here's one of our success stories. Hayden Hickson, a football player, one of my close teammates, came to me and wanted to learn how to manage his money better. I, we sat down and I told him to pay all his fixed expenses right now. He did that, he came back, only had $2 in his bank account. And that's hard, especially for a college football player, especially for an office alignment who needs to eat all the time. So we set him up a, custom, a customizable budget because everybody's income and expenses are different. He got a job on the side, also playing football in school. And throughout the whole semester, I told him, discipline, discipline, manage his budget with great discipline. He ended up saving over $1,500, which is amazing, yeah. And I didn't mention, he's a walk-on, and walk-ons don't get no financial aid. So that means he has to pay for his own tuition, he has to pay for his own rent, he has to pay for his own food and books. Now, there was one more problem facing us at Team Money Good. The college athletes weren't retaining the information. So in my first senior year, I had a teacher. He taught me, he taught me the, the teaching model of learn to teach, teach to learn. And what this basically means is everything that I'm learning, I'm going to go out and teach another individual, which reinforces the knowledge I just learned. And I thought this would be great for our college athletes, go on to teach, you know, somebody else, teach another college athlete, one of their teammates, or anything like that. But let's take it a step farther. If you know me, I'd like to take it a step farther. So I said, let's go teach the next generation. So we went down to Desert Color and went down to elementary school and taught the fifth grade class. We taught them for four weeks, a four-week program where we taught them how to budget, save, and invest. Turned out to be a hit, yeah. It was amazing. The athletes were out there teaching them how to budget, save, and invest, and the kids were asking them all types of questions. What are taxes? Well, why, why is the government taking money from this or that? And all that type of stuff. And it was amazing. These are fifth graders. At the end of the program, we had a challenge. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? With the fifth graders versus the athletes. <laughs> Guess who won? <laughs> Not the athletes. We lost. <laughs> it, was, it was pretty, it was an amazing experience for my athletes. One, being able just to go out there and be more than just a, a football player, basketball player, soccer player, cross country, or anything like that. It gave them an opportunity to show a different side of them. Our athletes were amazing. They had a great time. The principal loved us. The fifth grade class loved us. That they brought us back another year. Yeah. Yeah. 
So during all this teaching, budgeting, saving, and investing, I got an NIL deal where I received $30,000. Amazing, very, very grateful for it. Now you would think that I would budget, save, and invest this really well, but I was far from it. In a matter of six to eight months, I, um, I blew through $30,000. <laughs> it was bad, I could hear my dad in the crowd sighing right now. <laughs> so, but the lessons I learned from it was one, money doesn't grow on trees, learned that from my dad too. Two, that I gotta hold myself accountable. But three, it was an amazing experience because it taught so much to my athletes as well as it taught to me and I was, they are holding me accountable as well as I hold them accountable because the lesson happened from a person that I guess learn, knows a lot about financial literacy, but sometimes we don't. And it you know, kind of brings you back down to earth. See, the cool thing about college athletes is that we have all these lessons and stories that we've been a part of. No, we don't have the degrees. Well, I might have had some degrees, but we don't have the credentials or anything like that. But their lessons and stories are so amazing that they can be my teacher, your teachers, your kids' teachers, but also their role models. See, the thing about college athletes also is that they're amazing people on and off the field. And imagine your kid going in the fifth grade class watching Emily Isaacson or Frank Stane hitting a game-winning three on a basketball court, but that Tuesday night, or that Tuesday during class, he was teaching, they were both teaching him how to budget, save, and invest. It's an amazing thing. You see, you don't do a whole lot unless you try. I guess a crazy group of college athletes are crazy enough to try. Thank you very much. Yeah.